In this episode of Online Video Course on Weather Observation, I, the Weather Observer, and Didi will introduce to you how to measure rainfall. Although we can visually distinguish different types of rain, such as drizzle, showers, heavy rain, etc., you must use a rain gauge to measure the exact rainfall amount. This is the meteorological garden at the observatory headquarters. Four different rain gauges and a precipitation alarm are installed here. Wow! Four kinds of rain gauges! Why not just measure rainfall by collecting rain with a measuring cylinder? Of course not! The data of the rain gauge must be accurate, and the installation site for a rain gauge has particular standards too. According to the guidelines of the World Meteorological Organization, a rain gauge is best installed on a flat land. If there are any obstacles, there should be a considerable distance between them and the rain gauge. What are the differences between these rain gauges? Their design and principles of measurement are different. This is an ordinary rain gauge. It mainly consists of a collecting funnel and a plastic bottle. When raining, the rain will drip into the rain gauge. Every hour, weather observers measure the accumulated rain with a measuring cylinder. At present, the observatory still uses the rainfall measured by an ordinary rain gauge as the official rainfall record. This is a tilting siphon rain gauge. Its main measuring components consist of a metal float, a float chamber, and a rotating drum. Rain passes through a funnel into the float chamber. The float rises as the water level increases. Then the marking pen attached to the float traces its height on a rotating paper drum. The collected data is the rainfall amount. This is a tipping bucket rain gauge, mainly using buckets to measure rainfall. Wow, it looks like a seesaw. <laughs> yes, it works like a seesaw. It consists of two equal buckets on two sides, pivoting on their center. When raining, rain will be collected in one bucket. When the rain collected in one bucket reaches a preset level, the bucket tilts and discharges the collected water. Meanwhile, the other bucket continues to collect rainwater. Multiplying the number of bucket tilts by the predefined rainfall limit is the rainfall amount. Wow, that hurts! Why are there so many wires? Watch out, Didi! This is a measure to prevent birds from standing on the instrument and affecting the accuracy of the rain gauge. Besides birds, surrounding debris such as branches and leaves may blow into the rain gauge during strong winds and heavy rain, causing blockages and affecting the measurement of the rain gauge. Finally, I'll introduce the weighing rain gauge. It has a built-in weighing sensor to measure the change in weight before and after collecting rainwater in order to determine the rainfall amount and rainfall rate. The weighing rain gauge has its limits. If an insect accidentally falls into it and jumps inside, this will affect the weighing result and produce data similar to drizzle. Why are there stainless steel sheets surrounding the weighing rain gauge? Well, the windshield helps reduce the rain being blown away. This increases the effectiveness of collecting rainfall. The diameters of those rain gauges are different. Aren't the measured rainfall amounts different too? No. Because rainfall is described by height instead of volume. We divide the collected rainwater volume by the area of the rain gauge. The resultant height is the rainfall amount. What's happening? Don't be afraid, Didi. You accidentally touched the precipitation alarm. Precipitation alarm? The precipitation alarm is used to alert the weather observer on the outdoor weather condition. When rain falls onto the sensor, the buzzer alarm will be activated to inform the observer that it's raining outside and they have to prepare to go outdoors to make rainfall measurements. Wow! Weather observers have to prepare to make measurements all the time! It sure isn't easy! Yes, Didi. Thanks to these rain gauges, we can collect so much data for quick and accurate analysis. I hope this introduction to rain gauges helps you know more about how to measure rainfall. See you next time!